and Namaste. Our travels through southern India with Scenic have delivered us to Pondicherry, a unique town where French and Indian culture intertwine thanks to its history as a French trading post for over 300 years. A French colony until 1954, the European influence remains, making this a truly delightful place to spend some time. Pondicherry has a really nice, relaxed vibe, Priya. Yes. So uh, it's because not a lot of people live here. And also, if you see the roads here, it's so much more wider than the rest of India. So, well, we would like to thank the French for it, but it was actually the Dutch who were here before the French who planned the city, and then the French later built on it. The planning included provision for many parks, giving the city a relaxed, laid-back feel. The whole town has this beautiful French vibe. Yes. Still do, right? Croissants, cafe mm -hmm. latte, all mm -hmm. of that. Yes. So we have about 5,000 French people live in the city, even today. Right? So, and a lot of French people still hold ancestral property here, which is allowed. Um, they can't buy new property, but they can still hold ancestral property. And a lot of them shuttle between France and Pondicherry. It's a unique heritage that locals remain very proud of. Yes, very much. Actually, people hold that very close to their heart. We've got so many French buildings, old French buildings that are still protected, still very well maintained. Uh, the church, for example, and other private homes as well. Uh, and also a lot of people still speak French and they love speaking in French. They're very proud of that. Adding to the charm of this city is its coastal location along the Bay of Bengal with a seaside promenade running through it. It's a beach and it's beautiful and I mean people say it's like walking down uh, you know the south of France uh, so yes it, and it has a lot of that French um, vibe to it and so people I mean during the weekends they, everyone's down here just on the promenade just having fun. Under French rule the city was segregated into French and Tamil quarters but these days, the cultures blend and you can see French-style villas side by side with traditional Tamil homes. Two hours' drive further north are the shore temples of Mamalapuram, built as a statement of the town's importance as a bustling port many centuries ago. Its location, so close to the sea, has caused significant erosion and damage, but even so, they're an impressive site and one of India's oldest structural stone temples. The complex houses three temples in total, two dedicated to Lord Shiva and one to Lord Vishnu. 